Good evening for Star City News. I'm Brian Fry. And I'm Kelly Bradley. Here's the latest news. Kelly, I heard you like dinosaurs. I do, actually. I like them a lot. Well, then you'll love this next story. A triceratops was discovered in Wyoming. A rancher found the 67 million year old remains and led scientists to the site. Now experts are digging on one of the most complete skeletons of a triceratops, the three-horned plant-eating dinosaur. The Black Hills Institute is working with the Naturalis Biodiversity Center from the Netherlands on the dig. Iowa City is drawing the line on privacy. A new bill was introduced Tuesday that will ban red light cameras, drones, and license plate readers, three tools increasingly used by law enforcement. The ordinance is a result of a local petition brought forward by a citizen group that wanted to ban red light cameras. Privacy experts have never seen a law like this at this level of government compared to what Iowa City has proposed. The bill passed its first reading unanimously on Tuesday. The American Civil Liberties Union says it's time to end the war on pot, not only because it costs taxpayers billions of dollars, but because they say it's a racially biased issue. According to ACLU analysis, marijuana arrests account for half of all drug busts, and blacks are four times more likely to be arrested for marijuana offenses than whites, even though whites use it in about the same rates. The full report can be found online at ACLU.org. A teen is punished for his attempt at stopping a bully. Seventh grader Brian McLean said he was sitting in class on Tuesday when he noticed a bully threatening his classmate. McLean heard the flick of a pocket knife, and that's when the 13-year-old took matters into his own hands by tackling the bully. The boy's mother was called and told that her son would be sent home for trying to play hero. The kid has since been suspended. Another story on bullying. Tickets aren't just for speeding anymore, and one Wisconsin community cops can also hand them out to families whose children torment other kids. Monona, Wisconsin recently adopted an ordinance that allows police to cite the parents of chronic bullies. First parents will be notified if their child is bullying, and if the behavior continues within 90 days, the parents will be fined $114 in court. Omaha volunteers are trying to build a school in Haiti with a little help. Former UNL Athletic Director Tom Osborne is trying to raise money to support a school in Haiti. The Flower of Hope School in Haiti was built after the earthquake in 2010. Now it's too small to serve all of its students. The charity took place last night at St. John Vianney Church. Osborne gave a keynote speak, speech at the event. Kelly. There was a special tennis match in, o in Omaha over the weekend that brought athletes from across the country. The Lincoln Tennis Buddies is a program through the Special Olympics that brings together tennis enthusiasts and athletes with special needs. Organizers said athletes are proof that disabilities don't have to slow anyone down. Drug shortages are driving the price of everyday antibiotics way up. Back in March, the American Academy of Pediatrics warned of an FDA alert over doxycycline shortage, an inexpensive drug that is used for infections, tra sexually transmitted diseases, and a new case of Lyme disease. Lyme is a problem in the northeastern U.S. and upper Midwest caused by ticks. Senators from Maine and Minnesota are urging the FDA to do what they can to fix the problem. Last night, this issue showed up on Twitter when Dr. Judy Stone, who practices in Maryland and Maine, announced the price of the drug in her pharmacy has gone to, from $20 to over $3,000. And hacker group Anonymous released more details about its upcoming news site. It wants to focus on stories it deems most important. In, an, in a note online, Anonymous said, quote, it's time to start getting the real news out there to everyone. We have to stop relying on big corporations to do that for us. In April, Anonymous released, raised $55,000 through an online campaign. The group released a note today saying it would announce a launch date in its next press release. That's all we have for you tonight for Star City News. I'm Brian Fry. And I'm Kelly Bradley. Thank you for joining us.